Uh, hey guys, uh, this is Jack and welcome to another video. I've noticed a few more features in Safari 5. Uh, I kind of forgot to mention those in my other video, so I'm going to mention them here. And uh, namely, a few new features. One of them is uh, new top sites. The top sites interface, before you can only see top sites. And in the new interface, you have this grayish uh, background instead of the default black. You, know, you can also switch tabs to history. And uh, so you can now you can switch between history and see your um, respective web pages in the different, oops, sorry, I went backward on my mouse, uh, my magic mouse. And um, yeah, so now you can scroll through your web pages, your history, um, just wait for the thumbnails to load, it's a bit slow. But anyway, uh, that's just new top sites. And there's also a new feature, um, this new, let's see if I can find my history here. All right, and the new uh, features of Safari, uh, you get better HTML5 support. Uh, for example, location services and you know full screen view, closed captions for HTML5 video. Also, it has better caching. Uh, I've noticed that when I when I go back to the same web page, it, it's cached and it's um and it's much much faster than before. It also opens up the web uh, opens up the browser to third party extensions. Um, while that, there's no there's not many, or I don't think there are any extensions now. There's gonna be more extensions later on. Just wait for that. Um, there's also a smart address field. Um, by that I mean if I search for Mac world or just search for Mac I have it automatically completes Mac rumors it gives me you know this, this little bit of information about you know what the site is about Mac rumors Apple Mac rumors and news you care about or Mac um, Mac world I can even type in uh, let's see Mac world there you go and then it gives me my history my bookmarks yada yada and that's what kind of cool a big improvement um, for Windows users, I, I, don't, I don't know if I said this, but you guys get hardware acceleration, which is pretty cool. Uh, so rich media and interactive graphics execute smoothly and speedily in a browser. Um, yeah, so overall, um, I haven't tested out the HTML5, but I, if I guess, uh, let's see if I can navigate to the page. Uh, never mind, this wrong page. So Apple also put together a web standards, like kind of showcase of all the things you can do with HTML5. And this web page is demo uh, showcase thing it works with but all iPhones iPod touches iPads and Macs and Windows or uh, I think if you're running if you're running Chrome or Safari I think I don't think Chrome is supported though because Firefox IE Opera and the, uh, the other browser are definitely not supported supporting HTML5 as of now only the race is actually between Apple Safari and Google's Chrome browsers um, they are they are basically saying oh I can do more HTML5 than you yada yada um, so yeah uh, checked out the, the new features of Safari 5. It's free download for Windows and Mac. Uh, for Mac Tiger users, you have a Safari 4.1, which adds some of, some of the new features. Um, and yeah, so check it out. Thanks, guys, for watching. Please follow me on Twitter. You know my Twitter uh, address by now, uh, beautifulcode, at beautifulcode. So thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys next, see you guys next time.